The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Well, uh, I felt that West Ham blocked us uh, well in the first half and uh, we had problems to find uh, fluency in our game and uh, we needed to, I liked the game because we need to be patient and uh, I told the players at half time, we will, if we keep the discipline we will find space and uh, that's what we did in the second half. Uh, we had many chances uh, straight after uh, in the first 10-15 uh, minutes, but we couldn't take them. And when we came back to 1-1, it uh, was a little bit a test because we had one or two chances as well. Once uh, we scored the second goal, it was, I think, uh, they collapsed a little bit and we could score uh, many goals. What was, it, what was today like, do you think, for, for yourself and also for, for the players? Well, we are, I think uh, we are professional and we focus on our job and uh, to be uh, uh, professional means that uh, you're capable to do your job even if emotionally it's a little bit special and uh, that's what I did my whole life, you know, I was not always uh, in easy circumstances and uh, I believe that to be professional is always to prioritise uh, your job and uh, I will continue to do that as long as I'm here. Austin, it's, been a while since the, it's been a while since the fans have chanted only one Arsene Wenger with such vociferousness, such volume. Did, that must have been quite a special moment for you. Look, uh, uh, I'm happy when our fans are happy. I'm uh, even ready to suffer to make them happy. If sometimes they make me happy as well, I'm happy. Uh, it's, uh, I take it, you know, but... Uh, I think uh, every single decision I made in my 22 years is uh, for the good and the sake of Arsenal. Even uh, when we have wrong decision, it was always with one priority, was to do well for the club. And uh, I tried uh, to influence the club on the uh, structural side, on the development of the individual players and on, of course, the style of play and the results. And uh, to combine the three is not always easy. And I believe that I will leave a club who is in a very strong position on all fronts and uh, uh, my target was always to do that and uh, I give an opportunity to the guy who comes in after me to do even better in the next 20 years. That's my wish. When the guy that comes after you, do you have any, do you intend to, do you want to have any say in who that will be? No, I, it's not, no. I, I always feel uh, but uh, the most important in the football club is that everybody does his job. My job is to take care of the team, of the results, of the finances in the transfers, and uh, that's what I did. My job is not to select the next manager. What was the you this is the right time to go? What, what, what? I uh, made a statement. <coughs> that is basically all in it. And uh, overall, I think it's not the moment to come out on that. I would like... Uh, uh, to focus, to keep the priorities right until the end of the season and focus on uh, uh, how well I can do until the end and I will speak about that uh, a bit later in my life. Oh, so can, you, can you describe at all the, the emotions, the range of emotions you've gone through over these past few days? No, not really, because <coughs> uh, it's a mixed feeling. Uh, uh, first of all, I must say I'm uh, touched by all the, the praise I got from all English football and I'm grateful to have uh, for having had uh, that experience in this country that is for me special. And uh, where football is special, where the passion is special, you find that nowhere else. I know that I will not get that anymore in my life. And uh, so, of course, uh, that is uh, absolutely special and I could see the development of a Premier League in 20 years that is uh, sensational and I hope that we last for a very long time. After that, I had the feeling a little bit uh, to assist life at my funeral and uh, uh, because uh, 
people speak about you, how you were, no? so it was a little bit uh, interesting on that front, so I don't need to die anymore, I know what it is now. <laughs> and uh, that uh, is quite interesting, but I must say I would like, uh, apart from a little sense of humor, I would like to thank everybody who has been absolutely uh, nice to me and uh, it's a bit our job, you know, I certainly got more praise than I deserved and maybe sometimes more criticism than I deserved. But uh, it has been uh, difficult, but as well, uh, fantastic. Awesome, congratulations on your 22 years. Um, what was the moment that you knew you were leaving? What, where were you? What was the position? And do you plan uh, to it's again? not the moment to talk about that. Awesome, you've always you respected your contracts. You've always respected your contracts. Uh, and that's been admirable. So, so what changed this time around? I uh, just told you a few minutes ago I will talk one day about that, but not, it's not the right moment. Oh, you do be suggesting just now that you wouldn't manage again in England, the way, the way you answered that question? If you speak about emotions, that certainly will, uh, be, uh, would be for me emotionally uh, difficult. I. Uh, don't know how well I will live without that, you know. So at the moment, it's difficult to say to, for me to say never. But at the minute I speak to you, I'm too attached uh, to this club to to say no. I go anywhere else. No, I, it will be very difficult for me. Have you, you had your offers in the last few days? Like processed it. Yeah. Sorry. Do you feel like you processed it in your head yet? Does it has it hit you that you're going to be leaving in the, this club that you love in the summer? I uh, will completely never leave this club because I will always, uh, my first look will always be for the result of Arsenal, how well the club develops, you know, and uh, uh, I will always be attached, but it's difficult. You, you do not give uh, 22 years of your life like that, and uh, I gave the best years of my life to this club, you know, uh, I arrived at uh, uh, 46 years old, uh, and uh, I, I uh, worked seven days a week, not six and not uh, six and a half, seven, for, for 22 years. So uh, you cannot just walk away and say, thank you very much, bye-bye. It's, it is uh, absolutely normal. You can not be on one side completely committed, and after uh, walk away, like nothing happened. It's impossible. I know that I will face that challenge, that it will be difficult for me, but I had other difficulties in my life, and I hope I will get uh, through this one as well. Is it, is it, is it, is it your hope? That, that making this announcement now does galvanise the team, the club, and the fans generally? I don't know. I, uh, I, that, that was not the first speculation. The club needs to prepare the future, and uh, uh, the earlier all is settled, the better it is, you know. And uh, so that is, uh, you cannot come in on the 1st of June and say, uh, look, we separate now and uh, uh, do what you want. When Ferguson left United, it was very obvious he, re he retired, that was it. Yeah. That's definitely not been the case with your statement. I assume you, you want to make Look, maybe. I don't, I, I, uh, it's new for me, I don't know. With Ferguson, yes, it was different. I agree with you. And uh, he's still at the club, he stayed at, at Manchester United, you know. Arsene, you said a year ago in interview that you were going to carry on managing this club. I don't ever see you as a director of football. You still take training every day, don't you? Yeah. I can't imagine you wanting to, to go upstairs. Am I wrong? I mean, you still seem like a man who's got youth and passion. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, I cannot tell you much more because I don't want you to come back to me and say uh, in six months you lied to us. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I know I did that a few times. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't like to be definite today. I don't know. I don't know how I will respond to that situation. Arsene, what does the club need from the new manager, in your opinion? What sort of a person? And also, what does the club need to do to get back to the level of expectation and ambition in terms of competing for the Champions League and Premier League? Look, uh, you take me, and you take a guy who's much stronger in every strong point I have. So when, when you have a perfect guy. Awesome. It's, it's a Last one, Amy. You talked about a working seven days a week for 22 years, and obviously it is a stressful job. Have you felt some, amongst the emotions you've felt, have you felt some relief as well? Since you made your no, because I was not tired, not uh, 
but uh, I feel that, uh, uh, how can I say, I, I personally I believe that uh, this club is respected all over the world, much more than in England, uh, that uh, our fans uh, did not give the image of the unity I want at the club all over the world and uh, that, that was hurtful because I feel the club is respected and uh, of all uh, the image we gave from our club is not what it is and not what I like. Sorry? Some players including the Mika Saka have said let's win Europa League for Arsenal. Do you feel like if Arsenal don't or can't win Europa League, they would have a legend? We will try, you know, uh, we play against Atletico Madrid and uh, and uh, it is very open. Hopefully we can uh, uh, continue to have positive results and with, until the end. And uh, then we see where we go from there. Yeah. But uh, you'd kind of have to elaborate on that about the fans, because that's quite a strong statement, you know, about the unity. Would you be kind of have to say when you felt that happened? The unity of nothing, I uh, nothing more to say. I feel that uh, uh, this club has a fantastic image, and uh, uh, for me that is absolutely vital. Sport, sport, uh, we can speak and speak and speak. Sport is about winning and losing, and you have to accept that you will lose game, even though we will not be here anymore, you know. <laughs> and uh, but it's as well about something bigger than just winning or losing. And uh, it's a, it's it's uh, for me that was always a worry how the club is perceived worldwide for kids who play in Africa, in China, in uh, America, and. Uh, uh, the dream that it can create for young children who want to play football. And the, our, all our clubs uh, have a responsibility in that. So the fans clearly hurt you in that sense? No, not me. The club? The fans clearly hurt the club in that sense, in your mind? Look, uh, I'm not here, especially, I, I'm not resentful. I just, and I do not want to make stupid headlines. I am not resentful with the fans. I just feel if my personality is in the way of what I think our club is, it is important that uh, uh, for me that is more important than me. See? So that's all I want to say. It's nothing to do with the fans. The fans were not happy. I can understand that and that's my job and I have to live with that. I have, can accept that. But what was being created was damaging. Uh, I don't know if it was damaging. It was not uh, corresponding to what I really feel our club is perceived and has to be perceived all over the world. And uh, if you travel uh, with us, if you travel, uh, I travel a lot, you know, and uh, this club is respected all over the world. And that's down to work. It's not, and as well to the way we play football, the way we behave and the way uh, we treat people. And uh, so I do not want... Uh, I want that to go on and uh, to be respected and uh, give uh, the image I, I think is right, even if uh, it's a lot of money in the game. Uh, after, uh, above that is more than, than the money, is more than the results, is the way a club is perceived and the example the club gives all over the world. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Uh, Sorry. And then is uh, coming back to football. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look too good. He has an X-ray, but I don't know how bad it is. But it doesn't look good. World Cup? Is it me? I'll see. I'll watch that.